Hi, this is Jeff Mitchell with the Golf Standard. Today we're talking about controlling the golf ball in the wind. There are two main areas that I think you should look at if you're trying to play better golf in the wind. One is the trajectory of the shot. Whether you're trying to hit it low into the wind, medium trajectory maybe for crosswind, up in the air high if you're trying to really carry the golf ball a long ways down, downwind. Regardless of which of those shots you're trying to hit, that is simply a subject of loft at impact. I've got out an 8-iron. This club has about 38, 39 degrees of loft. If I set up in a normal position for me, I hit a medium trajectory shot. If I'm really trying to change that trajectory, then I'm going to try and change my setup position as much as I can in the actual swing as little as I can. So if this is normal right here, medium trajectory shot, to hit the golf ball considerably lower, I'm going to want to de-loft that club, which is just simply moving the handle forward, taking a lot of loft off of that, and then set my body up to that loft that I'm looking for. From this point right here, I want to try and make sure that the swing in itself is as normal as possible. If I'm trying to hit it higher, then I'm going to want to add loft. Now, having a club basically perpendicular to the ground is about the most you can effectively add to the loft. And that means putting the club up about the same place you would put it a driver, about even with the left armpit, and then taking a pretty normal swing, you can hit the golf ball pretty high. If you're trying to hit it any higher than that, then you're really lowering your odds of hitting the golf ball solid. But that's to control the trajectory. The second is trying to control the amount of spin on the ball. And you might ask, why is that so important? Well, if I'm going downwind, I want to make sure I have the most spin I can on the golf ball so that not only does that help control what the ball does in the air, but once it lands on the ground, it gives me an opportunity to control that too. If I'm going into the wind, I might want to take some of that spin off of the golf ball so that it doesn't have quite as much lift. I can get the golf ball to plane out, so to speak, and get the golf ball to roll a little bit more on the ground. Now, if I'm hitting it high and I'm trying to add a lot of spin, then what I want to make sure I do is, quote unquote, I want to under club and over swing. And really all that means is I want to make sure I'm taking a good full swing. But if I'm going into the wind, I want to make sure I have a little bit more club than I need. And that way I can shorten the, the, the length of the swing and that's going to reduce the amount of club head speed that I have when I make contact with the ball. That in itself is going to take a little bit of the spin off. I'm going to be able to keep the ball low, take a little spin off, control the ball not only in the air but on the ground. So if you're really trying to control the golf ball in the wind, focus on two things. One is the trajectory of shot, whether you want the wind to influence it or not influence it, and then being able to control how much spin you have. I think that if you can really control your setup position and then make sure the swing is as much like a normal swing as possible, you're going to get much better results. Have fun playing in the wind. Until next time.